trying to convey, um, especially when you look at brownfields, historic buildings. Um, and believe it or not, they can be one and the same. Um, many of you are probably familiar with the rope factory here in Kenya. That was a brownfield, definitely a dirty place, brownfield. But also, um, brownfields can also be buildings that have asbestos, and lead-based paint, and petroleum. So many historic buildings, as you mentioned, have had a lot of changes over the years. So you're, you're probably going to wind up finding these things in your building, and sometimes unexpectedly. So if you want to go and you're going through the resource tax credits, you've got all your financing lined up, you go and you start making the changes, and lo and behold, you've got pipe rack out the wazoo, and it's running all up and down that building and through the walls, and now you've got $200,000 worth of extra costs to have to deal with. Um, so this is a program that's really designed and works really well with these projects. Um, so I'd just like to take a few moments to talk about that one. So this is the Brownfield Revolving Loan Fund, and it is a loan fund. Um, and with this date, we've had, um, again, a lot of changes. So uh, for the next, the foreseeable future, loans are going to be, you know, what we have to offer for the most part. Um, and this particular one is funded with federal money, which is another reason why it works great if you're doing a historic tax credit program. Because, um, as Steve mentioned, if you have federal monies, there are different rules that apply. You know, uh, the National Park Service jumps in and, you know, you work with a whole different ballgame. Well, if you're already doing these things for historic, this is a great program to utilize because of that. Because you're already following those rules, it's no problem. Whereas for other projects, maybe they weren't planning on doing some of these things, and now if they want to utilize those funds, which is federal money, they have to kind of retool their whole, their whole process. So, so it's a great place to start. It's um, relatively quick 